Hi. Hey, Margarita. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. So how's your day so far? Um, it's good. It's good. Excited to speak with you. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure, Margarita. So, Margarita, the unknown, your fourth album is scheduled to be out on this Friday, the September the 17th. So can you tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this album? Yeah, so this album kind of came out of the pandemic in a way. Yeah. Um, we started writing it when we came back from our European tour in 2019. And we just started with a song because we had a few months between touring yeah. uh, title actually our first track we recorded and as things started to shut down we just kept writing and uh, the ideas kept coming <laughs> so um we, we went back to our producer Mike Plotnikov who introduced us to Neil Sanderson from Three Days Grace and he was zooming in from Canada and he became part of the process and we just kept going to the studio and the songs you know the this album sort of wrote itself because we were kind of in this um, realm of the lockdown and yeah. we spent it in the studio and the, the album was our silver lining in a way. Sounds so. good, sounds good. So is there any kind of concept or a theme that you have put behind this album? Yeah, so familiar with our last album, Universe, and this album is sort of a continuation of Universe because um, Universe really defined us as a band. And with this one, we just took it to a new level. Uh, the album really explores what the future can look like. Um, it has like this science, science fiction element to it, yeah. but it's also emotional. So the underlying messages of the songs are very empowering, hopeful. Um, you know, it's all about perseverance, but it also explores the crazy things like merger of um, human mind and artificial intelligence, or whether we could live on forever through digital space, you know, mm -hmm. crazy, you know, thought-provoking things where our future is heading. Um, so it's always inspiring for me to think about um, the endless possibilities <laughs> and write Awesome, sounds good, sounds good. And the cover art seems to be a bit interesting. Is this the same concept that you guys put behind the cover of the album as well? Yeah, so the, the cover art was created by Alex Ruiz. He actually does a lot of art for Marvel. And he, when the album was already done, um, he made that. And uh, for me, that art piece is what the what the music looks like because he really read my mind. I think it has a mystery to it. You can also interpret it so many different ways, yeah. but it makes you feel something. So he really captured um, the music perfectly, and um, yeah, yeah. So. Sounds <laughs> Uh, and uh, I had the opportunity to listen to the album in complete and I was like, wow, <laughs> it was totally amazing, uh, totally amazing. Great vocals as always from you. And the band did a fantastic job on the album. So there is like not even a single song that I can say. It's not good. See, everything is perfect that you guys did. So thank you so much for this new album this year. And thank you so much for the music. And uh, <laughs> <much>. thank you. <laughs> So you guys started way back in 2011, so it's almost 10 years on the road. So how has the experience been so far? Uh, we had a long journey of ups and downs. We had a lot of downs where we had to rise back up and that really fuels the music. Um, I think that's another thing about this album is because it has so much history behind it and that really sparks the passion behind writing this. And, uh, you know, like Dave and I, when we started the band, we really started from, now that I think about it, at the time, we thought, because Dave had a band with like 80s super group, yeah. uh, but they all were with their own thing. So when we started, we really started from zero. And it took us years to figure out what we wanted to sound like, how to merge our styles, because Dave is like a heavy metal, classic metal guy. Yeah. I'm like classical music, theater, like complete different worlds. So 
coming together and really finding our sound took us quite a few years. Um, then, you know, touring, like we went, we did so many do-it-yourself tours in the U.S. Uh, but then, you know, we started to go to Europe, we went to Japan, we filmed a video in Iceland, we had so many crazy experiences. Then like the European tour was our first big European tour. Um, so um, everything just kind of builds upon it, it itself. And forms us as people and as musicians and that all, all reflects in the music so all the even like all the hard times we had I'm grateful for them because without the hard times I don't think we would write the music that we yeah. do today also awesome and in this 10 years time you guys have done massive massive albums and you have been very successful and your music has traveled far and wide like all over the world, I would say. So how do you feel about this outcome and the success of the band? And um, well, when you're on the, this side, you never see a success really, <laughs> because from, from one level to the next, you take like baby steps and the further you get, you have more ideas and you're able to do more. Like for example, we were, we were able to, um, you know, record, bigger sound we're able to make bigger music videos mm. so with each step we're just able to elevate it but and of course like it's so awesome to see the fan base fan base growing and like our world expanding uh, and it makes us want to tour in you know further corners of the world so that's our goal is to be able to tour in all corners of the world keep releasing music and make like crazy cool music videos that are really like movies so <laughs> and of course have a massive stage show like i love like ramstein has a crazy stage show oh, yeah so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so margaret would you like to share some of the great moments that you had over the years um yeah like one of them there are so many um some recent ones is like when we went to japan um it was such different experience that it really stuck with me. The promoter that brought us over, Yutaka, first of all, he took really great care of us and like playing in Japan is such a cool experience because of how much people appreciate music. And uh, he, they took us to a Buddhist temple and they blessed the band. Then they, uh, they, yeah, it was crazy. They, they really shared their culture with us on such a level where we really felt like we were part of it. Like we had a private tea ceremony, like we, we got to see so much of Japan and it was really cool to see such a different part of the world that we yeah. never thought existed. I mean, of course we knew about Japan, but one thing is to know about it and another thing is to really experience it. So yeah. that was cool. So, and did you enjoy your time in Japan and with all these festivities? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was so different that we, we loved it. It was, it was really cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. And what would be the dream for you guys? Well, right now, it would be to get back on tour. <laughs> we haven't played a show in so long. Yeah, we really love to play live because that's when you connect with people mm -hmm. the, the energy when you play the songs live it's just another level so we really hope to to be able yeah. to do that that sounds good and there are a lot of bands that do live streaming but i don't know if really does that makes sense when there's no people and you play in one side and there are no people and they are watching from <laughs> somewhere else. that doesn't make any sense that doesn't give you the live experience but if it comes to the touring so how soon you'll be able to get back to the tour yeah i think we'll do kind of local shows, maybe some out-of-state shows before the end of the year, but full-on touring, I think we're going to start beginning of the new year. Yeah, because we were supposed to go to UK in September, but like things in the world are still making yeah, it difficult yeah. for the tour. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully this will all be behind us and we can all enjoy our lives again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, do you have any plans for the release on this Friday? Um, well, we're going to be giving away guitar, a painting, so we'll announce the winners probably the following week, but we're just going to be, you know, online enjoying, sharing the music with people, 
um, we were gonna have planned some shows out here, but like shows kept getting rescheduled. So we're like, we don't want to cancel any more shows, especially our CD release show. So we're just gonna hold off and um, we're actually releasing a lyric video uh, that's yeah. kind of lyric and music video of Tidal Wave. And we're just gonna keep making more content until we can get back on the road. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. And what would be that one country that you really want to go and you have never been before? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we wanna to go to South America. We wanna, we, we have a lot of fans in Israel. We'd love to go there. Um, so everywhere, we wanna go everywhere. Canada, Australia. Uh, Russia. Where are you from? Oh, I'm, you from right? I'm from India. I'm from India. There you go. We'd love to go to India. So <laughs> <laughs> hopefully one day we can make it over there as well. So that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be awesome. And uh, Margarita, finally, what would be the message for your fans around the world? By the way, I love India. Oh, thank so you. Is, um, yeah, well, my message is I just want to say thank you to people that listen to our music. If you're new to our music, I want to welcome you to our world. Um, enjoy the music. I really hope that our songs and this album inspires and empowers you and uh, that we see you and get to meet you at the shows in the future. So thank you, everybody, and uh, enjoy the music. Thank you. And Margarita, thank you so much for giving me your time today for this interview. And it's been uh -huh. a real pleasure to talk to you. And thank you so much for the music. And we are looking forward towards the album this Friday. And thanks again for the music. And you guys are doing an awesome job. And I wish you guys all the best. Oh, thank you so much. Thank pleasure you. to speak with you. Thank you. My pleasure. you have a great evening out there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.